New at 6 tonight, some local cities are starting to crack down on new rental services. Even as short-term vacation rentals remain popular. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura tells us why the city of Palm Springs is now prohibiting homeowners from listing their swimming pools on the Swimply app. Like many homeowners throughout the valley, Ivana Wynn tells me she was excited about the opportunity to make some extra cash by renting out her pool using the Swimply app. You know, because it's so warm outside, especially in the summer, and it's kind of like low season in general, so maybe like locals would want to enjoy the pools. Wynn lists her vacation rental home, the Senorita House, through other platforms. She says her backyard meets the city's vacation rental ordinance by including safety measures like pool signage and a fire extinguisher. Plus, and it has pool floaties, there's two gazebos, um, I have a barbecue there available as well. There's lounge chairs and couches, um, and there's a beautiful view of the mountain. But we had some questions about the liabilities while using Swimply, an app described as an Airbnb for backyard pools. If someone gets injured on the property, is it the responsibility of the company, the homeowner, does the city get involved at all? For short-term rentals, it is the responsibility of the homeowner and they are required to have insurance. So we did do some investigation into the Swimly app and insurance is optional. Veronica Goodhart, Special Program Compliance Director in Palm Springs, explains that because insurance is optional while renting through Swimply, it's not permitted by the city. They will help the homeowner if they're sued, but they're, it's not required. So it's a very different um, liability aspect for using the Swimly app as opposed to a registered vacation rental. Just days after we reached Palm Springs about rentals of backyard pools, the city sent this message to Swimply, telling the company the commercial rental of residential pools is not permitted. They can be cited um, a citation for $500 for not for violating the city's municipal code. Now, this doesn't mean that visitors won't have access to pools like these. In fact, they can still rent a home and have access to their backyard as long as they're using a short term rental service that's been approved by the city. That will be the case for homeowners like Wynn. I created Senorita's house and designed it with a lot of love, and I just want people to be able to enjoy it. In Palm Springs, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. Bianca reached out to Swimply. They were not available to go on camera for this story. You can learn more about Swimply and the Palm Springs Vacation Rental Ordinances at KESQ.com.